Hey guys, it's Nick here from Nick's Taxes, back again with another video regarding updates on the Canada Recovery Benefits. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for the for the support that I received on my latest video. The engagement was awesome, and I knew I had to come back quick with another video to keep you guys in the loop. And so I've been looking around, uh, checking in on some updates, and I have some new hot gossip regarding Parliament uh, to share with you guys, as well as some new dates to look out for as to when I think uh, the Canada Recovery Benefits will be made available to those who need it. So where we left off in the last video was that the Canada Recovery Benefits uh, were on the table. However, they weren't finalized. They needed to be passed through Parliament and we're just waiting on that to happen. So they announced all the details and everything like that, uh, but they didn't actually get passed in Parliament. And so that's what's going on now. And once it actually gets passed uh, is when the benefits will be made available. And obviously that's a problem because the CERB, the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, ended on September 27th. And now we have this weird period of time that there isn't a current benefit besides EI uh, for those who have been affected by COVID-19. So again, I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, I've been making recovery benefit updates, CERB updates uh, since the whole pandemic started. So if you're new to this channel uh, and these are topics of interest for you, please consider subscribing. Uh, and I will keep you guys up to date on what's going on with these benefits, uh, talking about everything from how to apply to how to figure out your tax bill on top of it. Uh, so again, uh, if you are interested in this topic, please consider subscribing. And if you're getting value out of this video, please drop a like. Uh, what that does, it helps my channel grow and it tells YouTube that this is a good video and it sends it out to those who might be interested as well. So those who might be looking for this kind of information, uh, they'll be able to find it easier if you drop a like. Uh, so I would appreciate that a lot. So uh, with, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Uh, I'm gonna try to be as concise as possible uh, so I'm not wasting your guys' time. But what we have right now in Ottawa is our Liberal government, they're asking Parliament to fast track uh, this latest economic recovery package. Uh, and what's kind of happened as a result of this ask is a little bit of outrage from the opposing parties within government. What happened back in the summer is that the Liberals prorogued Parliament uh, due to some issues regarding the whole We Charity. Uh, and then they just came back into Parliament uh, last week. So the whole Canada Recovery Benefits uh, they were announced and stuff a while ago, but because Parliament took a break, these recovery benefits just kind of laid there on the table and were not debated, discussed, and passed through. And now that Parliament has resumed, they now have to obviously do this whole debate. And now because the CERB has already ended, they're kind of in this tough position and putting Canadians in a tough position. Uh, so they're trying to fast track this, but you know, the rest of the government's kind of saying, whoa, this is a big deal. Uh, fast tracking this might not be the best idea. So we have government house leader Pablo Rodriguez. He proposed on Monday to limit debate on legislation, uh, which sets up these three new benefits that are gonna help uh, workers go through this COVID-19 pandemic. The minority liberal government, uh, they also though secured NDP support for the legislation last week uh, in the topic of increasing the benefit amount to $500 per week. Uh, as you may recall, I made another video where the recovery benefits were originally going to be $400 a week, and now it's looking that it'll be $500 per week, uh, an increase of $100 to be on par with the CERB. And so the Liberals made this proposal and the NDPs uh, are backing this proposal. The NDP also agreed to expand the eligibility criteria for the new sick leave benefit 
beyond simply those workers who contract COVID-19. So under this new legislation, which is also known as Bill C-4, workers who have underlying conditions or are undergoing treatments or have contracted other illnesses that make them more susceptible to COVID-19 are also going to be eligible. So are those who isolate themselves on the advice of their employer, their medical practitioner, or public health authority officials for COVID-19 related reasons. This also means that workers who catch the flu or the common cold will now be entitled to collect the sick leave benefit. Obviously, again, this is pending that this gets passed in Parliament, but we now know that the NDP and Liberal both support this motion. Our government has been debating uh, on Monday and on Tuesday, September 30th. I'm filming this on Tuesday night, uh, and I assume they're going to be debating it going into Wednesday and Thursday. But some new dates that we can kind of look towards are, are going to be October 11th and October 4th. Both are Sundays. And that barring things go well, and government understands that this new bill needs to be passed quickly in order for Canadians to begin applying for these new benefits. Uh, we're potentially looking at applications for the Canada Recovery Benefit to open on Sunday, October 11th, and for the other two recovery benefits to open on Sunday, October 4th. Both of these benefits will be made available, sorry, the application for these benefits will both be made available on the CRA website. And once those become open, I will be making more videos on the whole application process. But as of right now, uh, at least we have a little bit of good news, a little bit of a glimmer of hope, some light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we have a couple dates that we can kind of lock down and look towards. Uh, if we are in a position that we are going to be applying for these benefits. So if you're looking at the Canada Recovery Benefit, uh, that's the benefit that's going to help Canadians who didn't qualify for the new employment insurance, the new EI. Uh, that's going to be for you, and that's looking at October 11th. And the other two benefits is the sick benefit and the... Uh, sick care benefit. That's if you're staying home to take care of someone uh, who is sick due to COVID or for COVID related reasons. Those are going to be available on October 4th. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So we'll see. Um, you know, we're all just kind of waiting right now to see if political parties uh, can work together to pass this package quickly. We're kind of at their mercy right now. And Parliament understands that Canadians need their help now. And the motion to fast track is kind of exactly that. They're, attempt, they're attempting to accomplish that this gets done quickly uh, and efficiently so that way that Canadians can get their benefits ASAP. The details of this motion, okay, it's a little bit crazy, but the motion proposes to limit the debate on the bill to just four and a half hours and bypassing the normal legislative process which includes committee hearings. And they're gonna to try to allow it to be put to a quick vote. And they said likely on Tuesday, but I don't believe that happened based on my research. Now the conservative house leader called this motion a joke. He says, what we have today is a government who wants four and a half hours of debate for a $50 billion proposal in taxpayers' dollars. Four and a half hours does sound long, but when you think about the size of this bill, we're looking at $50 billion. We want to make sure that our government is doing their due diligence. They're dotting their I's, crossing their T's on this sort of bill to make sure things are right. And you, this is definitely not something you want to speed through. As I mentioned earlier, the, the Liberals prorogued Parliament back in August, which prevented any debate or committee work until it resumed back last week. And so that's why we have this problem in the first place. Um, there was a lot of investigations by the House of Commons committees about uh, the whole we charity. And so with all that going on, Parliament was on pause until just last week.
Like I said, the Conservative Party is not happy about this. The NDP uh, House leader, Peter Julian, said his party will back the motion, but only begrudgingly because he understands that people need the help and need the help now because millions are going to be suffering and are going to be anxious about getting the support. So we will see what happens in the upcoming days. Uh, I will keep my ear to the ground regarding the uh, debates and the conversations that happen in Ottawa, and we will see how quickly they can get this bill passed. Uh, if it gets passed at all, we will cross our fingers. But again, uh, please subscribe, and I will keep you guys in the loop. As soon as I get more information, I will do my best uh, to get another video out there to let you guys know what is going on. But as of today, that is the up-to-date information I have. Again, we have two dates to kind of look at and to kind of aim towards. That's Sunday, October 4th and Sunday, October the 11th. So again, I'm Nick. Thanks so much for tuning in to this video. If you got value, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've made it to the end of this video, thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I drop another video. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully that is sooner than later. Ciao.